And right now the protest has made its way toward Ross Avenue. That's what we are walking along right now. We are sort of at the tail end of the protest. At least a couple hundred people in front of us chanting Black Lives Matter. One person's sign I just read said, asked, it, asked, it asked the question, what if it was your son? Right here on our right you can see Texas Highway Patrol vehicles. We've seen a number of these positioned really throughout the area, especially yesterday. And behind this group of protesters, you can see the convoy of DPD cruisers that are turning right now onto this street. They are coming down. I want to talk for a few minutes, just for a few seconds, about the restraint of some of these officers. You've seen a lot of people engaging these conversations with them. These conversations are very emotional. They can be somewhat aggressive. They're not violent, but they are very emotional. And the restraint on some of these officers' faces is just something to witness. Um, very calm throughout all of this. Again, we have about eight or so officers right now in the convoy behind us following along with these protesters. And we are heading up toward the YMCA on the left. You can hear a number of vehicles who are beeping, likely in support of what these protesters are doing. One thing that's very visible, uh, different today than maybe a couple of days ago and yesterday, is that there are not a whole lot of people out on the streets at businesses outside of this protest. I think a lot of people saw the messages, saw what was on TV, saw what was shown on social media with the damage and destruction shown as I avoid this newspaper stand. Um, we see signs like we want change, but again, a lot of people have cleared out of downtown. They've cleared out of uptown. Seems like people have gotten the message of that 7 p.m. curfew tonight. We've seen a lot of businesses that have closed down early for the night. We'll continue to monitor what's happening with these people walking along downtown right now. Back to you. And David, I'm curious if you've noticed the difference, and I think I've noticed this as well, that some of these protests that stay more peaceful, a lot of the people have clearly come with signs. They've spent time working on the demonstration, as opposed to some of the ones that get a little more out of hand. You don't see the signs. You don't see the, the, the families that have come out um, together. I, I don't know if you've had a similar observation. Oh, oh, for sure. And we've talked about the orchestration of these events. You know, I said it off the top of our show. These protesters were led in earlier by a man who was dressed as Jesus carrying his own cross. You know, I don't think that's something that someone was just randomly wearing and happened to walk into the protest with today. These are very organized. You see people coordinating their efforts together with their signs. You can see a gentleman right here with bottles of water. That is very common to see people providing that support to everyone else that is out here. So, um, Blake, you know, your ob observations are spot on, um, very easy to see out here.